Right, good morning my friends. I'll have to keep my voice down a little bit because it's uh, 10 to 5 in the morning. I do love these summer mornings though where you get lighter mornings and blue skies, it's really nice. Anyway, we're at uh, the Premier Inn here and we're off to Heathrow Terminal 2 and I'm, I'm fairly excited this morning because I'm off to New York's JFK but not with Virgin Atlantic, not with British Airways, not with United Airlines but with JetBlue. Now I've flown JetBlue internally in the USA before so I don't know, they are a good airline but they've mainly been for me an internal airline that fly literally from New York over to Los Angeles. However, they're doing an international route now. Uh, move out of the way. They're doing an international route now from uh, Heathrow uh, to New York JFK uh, and also back to Gatwick as well, which is where I land. I land back in Gatwick when I come back. I'm going to get that on camera as well too. I'm going to film my entire journey along the way and the experience of JetBlue and see what they're actually like. I have to say I am a little dubious. So join me on the journey. Let me know what you think. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, here we are, Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal. Now, I've literally just got to find Jet, uh, Jet Blue. I've checked in already, I've got all my uh, boarding passes, etc. Uh, and also, uh, I've got my boarding ticket, so I might just be able to go through, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know whether you've got to hand any paperwork in, etc. But I'm going to find out first. Right, 8.25 JetBlue to New York, uh, gate C opens 5.25, so I've got 10 minutes, perfect timing. I'm pretty sure I can just go straight through because I've literally checked in, I've done everything online, um, got my boarding pass uh, in my Apple wallet, so I'm pretty sure I can just go straight through. Don't need to drop a bag off or anything. As you know, I just carry this minute suitcase around with me. That can go on board. I'm gonna go and find out whether I can just go straight through. Right, so I've just asked somebody and they just said just go straight through. You're not checking any bags in or anything, so just go straight through. So nobody's checking anything so far. Um, so I'll just go straight through to security. I thought I might have to show my paperwork or something. Right, so that was really quick, through security. No checks, uh, nothing at all. Just uh, scanned my boarding pass to get through security. Straight through, very quick. So far, not shown anything. Now, I've not even had to show uh, my uh, proof of vaccination or anything at the moment, um, which is odd. Oh, normally, you show that when you're checking in and you're dropping your bags off, but I haven't got any bags to drop off, so literally I've just scanned straight through. Whether they check it before you get on the gate, when you get to the gate before you get on the plane, I don't know. Be interesting to find out because when I get to the States, I have global entry, so I just scan my passport 
and get straight through and then again no checks so uh, we'll see anyway right so I'll wander around <laughs> say I review a lot of food fish and chips full English breakfast but I do like sushi and I've not actually reviewed any sushi before there's another sushi kitchen here but it's not really a food for half past five in the morning is it Day breakfast. Not today. <laughs> See if I can try and get any planes coming in. Um, what I will say is I was told to get to the airport three hours prior um, because there's supposed to be mad chaos and it was really really quiet maybe because it was so early in the morning um, and the terminal itself now it's 10 to 6 in the morning and it's really quiet, I have to say. Very, very quiet. No chaos whatsoever. It makes me laugh now because Duty free many years ago used to be like really cheap and used to stock up on items. But these days, I don't reckon it's any cheaper. What do you reckon? Pop it in the comment section down below. In fact, I'm gonna take a look because Jameson at Tesco at the moment is 17 pounds, I believe. So let's see what it is in World Duty Free. There you go. You save 9.91. No, you don't because go to Tesco, get it for £17. I don't think so. Duty free? Nah. Having a laugh. Have a word. I've got to say, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I prefer Terminal 3. Seems a bit too posh for me, this uh, terminal. I like the uh, cheaper restaurants. I mean, look at this, London's Pride. Breakfast, all day full English breakfast, £16.25. That's mental. Nah, nah. Give me a weather spoons, give me a spoons. So I've got to go to gate 818, which is right here. And uh, you can see the jet blue plane there. I'm guessing that's the one. Stocking it up with the food. Be interesting to see what the uh, onboard food is actually like as well. Be interesting. As I say, traveled them before, but only internally, internal flights in the USA. Never, never transatlantic. So they've just called me to the gate. They've asked me, Lee David, go to the gate. So they probably want to check some stuff, I think. Calling a few names out, so I'm going to head off and see what they want. Okay, so they're just um, checking COVID tests now. So I've uh, got mine here. Got proof of it printed out. Makes it a lot easier. 
Right, so basically I've just had to have my documents verified. Uh, they asked for proof of vaccination uh, and also they printed a manual boarding pass, printed a boarding pass rather than the one on my phone. Uh, and they also looked at uh, my um, COVID test as well. So everything was checked, even though I didn't check in, uh, they call your name at the gate and check all your details. So we're printed out and ready to go now. All good. Two sides, we're still missing 
quite a few orders. Just be sure to put it in as soon as possible so you can get your first choice. If you need assistance, please contact the fire lieutenant. Thank you. So it looks all right, but I have no idea what I've actually ordered, I have to say. Uh, just gonna go with it. Well, you can tell I'm from Mansfield because I have no idea what sauce goes with what. Spicy. Have to say as well, I'm not even sure what order to eat them in. So 
I've got a maple lemon sauce. Does that go with the cake? say the bread pudding excellent really really nice thoroughly enjoyed that Descent as we prepare for landing, please make sure your seatbelt is fastened, seat pack is upright, and tray table is stowed. For our customers seated in the main suite, please ensure your, your shoulder strap is fastened and that your main suite door is open for landing. Also, at the same, please unplug all devices from NC Power Outlets and put away all carrying items, including laptops and devices of similar size for landing. Small electronics may be held, placed in your pocket or in the seat back in front of you, but cellular service must remain off until we've landed. Please do a final check around your seat and in the seat back pocket for items you'd like to discard or recycle and hand it to us when we pass through the cabin.
Oh, right, so I got straight through um, immigration because I've got global entry, so I literally just put my passport in and get straight through. Uh, there wasn't a massive queue anyway or, or lines or anything there. Um, so got got through. I'm just going to try and get the air train now uh, rather than getting a taxi over to Manhattan because I'm going to go to Manhattan then uh, over to New Jersey. But I thought rather than get a cab, uh, which is a hundred and odd dollars or an Uber, it's $127 over to uh, Hoboken in New Jersey. I'm going to get the air train into Manhattan because that's only like $5 I'm told. So uh, I'm going to try and do the trip, cheapest chips. It's got to say, by the way, uh, JetBlue excellent airline absolutely fantastic food was great although i didn't know what i was eating a bit posh for me uh with all them sauces and uh ice cream great the uh pretzel mm, not overly keen on pretzels uh, i left that the flight itself great the staff excellent the plane was great i have to say i'm gonna say it's i'm gonna say it's probably the best airline that i've flown on uh, for a while um, blasts Virgin out the water, uh, bl blows United out the water as well. Um, absolutely superb, really, really pleased with it. Um, so yeah, I'd highly recommend it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm surprised because it's, a, it's an internal airline that I've known it as within the US. Um, but transatlantic, fantastic, jet blue. I'd put two thumbs up, but I'm holding my camera with the other one. Um, absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm going to try and get the air train. Stay with me. You might see a few sights along the way. Right, so we're going to get the air train to Jamaica Station. Uh, and then we're going to get the subway uh, into Manhattan. So uh, that should be a lot cheaper. But I'm, I'm told, and I think, about $5, but way, way cheaper than Uber. I'm paying hundred and odd dollars. They're having a laugh. Have a word. Now remember, keep walking on these conveyor belts. Don't stop, it's so you get there faster. I mean, you could just get a yellow cab outside and get into the city, but again, it's gonna cost you a lot more money. And uh, you know, things are going up in the world. So let's save some money and get on that air train. I've done it once before, a long time ago. So we're gonna to go to Jamaica, get off there, and you pay when you get off. So I was looking for a machine before you get on, but apparently you pay when you get off. So uh, make a note of that one. So you need a metro card to exit now, which you can use on the subway as well. However, beware, because you cannot use a UK credit card or debit card in there. You've literally got to use a US card. Now I've got a US credit card, or you can use cash. So make sure you bring some dollars for it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, your stuff, because you have to put your zip code in. And if you haven't got a US zip code, you can't use your credit card. Right, it cost me $11.75, including the subway ride. Uh, so that's for the air train and the subway. Uh, I put cash in in the end. Don't know what was wrong with my card. 
um, and then it gives you a load of change as well because it didn't give you paper dollars. I mean, they're just contactless. Come on, get with the times. moving staircase is not working and when they don't work you're like you can't walk on them can you it's not like a normal set of stairs you're expecting it to move it's weird right so i found use for my change because i wanted to know which stop to get off at there's a guy in a wheelchair a homeless guy said uh, have you got any change he went there's the change which stop do i get off and he went straight off at the portal authority so i say that's money well spent he's happy and so am i Now I'm getting the bus, I've had the subway, it's like planes, trains and automobiles. And I'm heading over to Hoboken, going to see Tractor Boy. And then, that's the end of my journey. Oh. Right, let's go and say hello to Tractor Boy. Oh man, what a journey. Stay with me. Got lots of videos coming your way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and hit the like. Come on, let's go and say hello to Tractor Boy. I'm here, I made it. And you might know this guy. In fact, what did they call you on the comments? Don't, don't be careful because he reads the comments and he can get hurt by the comments. Oh dear. Tractor Boy. Yeah. Are we going to have any barf in a box this time? No barf in a box. No barf in a box. No marinara on a bacon sandwich. Can we go to the bar now? Yes, we can. Excellent. Brilliant. Tell them to subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Glad. subscribe. We haven't even drunk yet. Yeah, we haven't even drunk yet. There you go, my friends. I've made it all the way to Hoboken. Thank you for joining me. That was JetBlue. It was amazing. Highly recommend it, as I said earlier on. Join me for the rest of the uh, videos over here. Going to be doing a few in New York. Hopefully going to Nashville. However... I didn't realise that it is... The Country Music Awards. And the hotel's about a grand. Yes. So I didn't plan that one very well, did I? However, don't worry, I've been bringing you lots of different vlogs. I've been tippy-tapping on the computer to find some great places in New York for you as well. And no, not fish and chips or full English breakfast either. Lots of vlogs coming your way. And a few little tourist videos as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going for a beer. Bye-bye.